my lovely Aries welcome to last week in January Sun Moon Rising signs and Venus weekly energy here as you know this week we are strongly and fully into a Korean season the moon is in a crescent position and after January 26 all the planets are going direct full speed ahead and feels quite a great uplifting starting this week loves and we'll go this way till April believe it or not whatever plans you have or major changes to make in your life at work in a career whatever those things are even in your personal life do you now loves so let's see the last week how it looks for you what are those messages and what do we need to see pay attention and of course what are those blessings to encounter Aries as general reading my highly resonate with you might be here and there a message two of cups hermit and fool so look at this loves and seven of cups in search of something new and I feel here the new it's here right in front of you or right behind you all what you need to do is take the leap take the chance I feel here with the hermit it's more likely on a deeper level with the fool it's kind of like not at all so look at this two very contrary energies should I take a leap or should I look a little deeper because the new it's here and yes I do want it but is this something I I'm ready for or not let's see let's see darlings ten of cups I feel here you are gonna be happy or you wanna be happy seven of Pentacles been quite a long time since you didn't feel this way king of cups seven of swords and ace of swords so look at this loves seven of swords really a situation here that probably you felt like I've been burned and I don't want to do that again or I don't want anymore for some of you there is a water sign whoever comes or for some of you do have a lot of water I have Virgo and I have Gemini as well but for the fact that you are not taking it like the leap yet is because you you've gone through certain things here in the past and yes I want to give it my all because I know I deserve the most and I've been waiting for so long but the wait is over you know being clear for what you want will not give you as many headaches as you think they will it's kind of a straightforward talk a straightforward energy will show in a better light than you think clarifying the seven of swords tower justice and four of swords there have been a lot of healing regards the situation out there and definitely that situation give you quite headaches for some of you you could be separated from someone or the separation was an instant because somebody here could be caught on cheating or something like that so four of swords you've been healing since that there is a lot of trust issues or have been a lot of trust issues but it's kind of like your life 
felt calmer, better since that crazy event. The Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, you take your time. For some of you, you were not dating for a very long time. And it's kind of like more likely you focus on you, on the things that really matters. Because the Aries I'm speaking today, you are a single Aries. And for the fact, it's not like you, you focused on other people or date other people or be with other people. It's kind of you, you didn't re even talk for, for, for a long time with too many. It's kind of you are kind of separated from the whole world, kind of. But it's not necessary that you separate it, but it's just kind of like you, you kept your circle small for quite a long time. But now it feels like ready to give, ready to share. One more card, Three of Pentacles. Yes, you, you focus on your work, you focus on your you know, career, money. So I see here the errors I'm speaking is like you are very, could be self-employed, but I see you stable on your own, financially wise, happy on your own. I could speak here with a father figure as well, or some of you just kind of like, you know, I want to be by myself. It's not necessary that you could have children, but I feel here definitely you are not depending on anyone. And probably you also put the love sector on hold. And now here it comes King of Cups, Ace of Wands, King of Swords, Six of Cups. Five of Cups and Magician. Yes. For some of you, this is a brand new person coming into your life and could be in, in a similar situation as you've been. So your stories are looking pretty much the same. You both manifest each other. And for some of you, Aries, this person could be an ex of yours who have now regrets and stuff like that. And they want really to come back. And they want to make the things right. Now they are feel balanced. For some of you, this King of Cups, King of Swords, that's you. That you are not burning so much inside for whoever comes on the contrary you are very cautious for what you really want because you don't want to repeat the same old same old so i see you very very much in tune with your energy loves the eight of swords eight of cups eight of swords moon And temperance so indeed here I see for some of you that you heal a lot of things that you had been it was like I've been fearing of so many things probably been fearing to say the things exactly as they are or felt like a victim or feel like you're not good enough but i feel here you are good to yourself and yes you are ready for love with the temperance here it's kind of like i am more balanced than ever so whoever i'm speaking today this aries you you've done a tremendous work on yourself so when I say that some people are really focused on their growth, on their healing, I'm, 
I'm really speaking with this Aries who have done a lot of work, a lot of healing on themselves. And now it's kind of ready, but at the same time, whatever I'm doing now, I don't repeat whatever was. And whoever comes here better be good, better be balanced, better be similar as I am. And for some of you, definitely comes. Let me see what the spirit here has, has to say to you. Ten of Wands. Chariot. Nine of Wands. Eight of Wands. Queen of Wands. Three of Swords and Star. Yes. And again, the Seven of Cups. So what I'm seeing here, yes, we do have a wish fulfillment here. But also the Star speaks about healing. Healing a broken heart and ready to move on. Letting go a lot of stuff behind. And... What is important, as the Spirit says, for you, Aries, whoever comes to you, whoever comes to you, loves, allow a clean slate. Allow this energy to flow towards you because whoever comes to you also will be like a healing energy so yes we do learn a lot from the past but we don't go backwards we go forward and indeed here, as you see, you do have the Archangel Michael and Gabriel connected with you strongly and guiding you. So you could possibly have the best of the best. It's like let go of the control, let go of the worries and enjoy because when you are in the flow, things also start to flow. So I feel here there's an Aries ready for new energy, for new love, for new self. So don't overthink it if you really want this or not. Just let it go. And when the time comes, you will see it ready to embrace it or not. Because we many, many times are thinking but not feeling so let yourself to feel the things that are coming in here live your life because you can because you deserve it and you do need that love you do need that care the oracles, we do have the spirit animal oracles. And we have spirit has a plan. Absolutely. And be a home. Be you. Be yourself. Feel yourself. Because definitely spirit has a plan for you. And that plan most likely look like you're not going to be single or alone too long. Well, alone, I, I never feel that anyone is alone. As we all have our guides, our spirits. But I feel here you most likely will not be single for too long. So Aries. Yes, seems like a singles reading, but... That's what we got for this 
week for you. Thank you lots for watching. Thank you for being here. And as usually, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Comment below. Let us know how you feel or how this reading resonated with you. If did resonate. Love and light loves. Have an awesome, lovely weekend week ahead. Till the next time.